Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Gurung Pinay sa America. So for today, nasa same lesson pa rin tayo, 7th grade math about addition and subtraction of polynomials. We're in, sasagutan natin yung learning task number 3. So yung learning task number 3 ay mga word problems, application ng evaluating, algebraic expressions. So ang instructions solve the following. So number 1. The given is a box is 2x minus 3 by x plus 5 by 3x plus 1. What is the volume of the box if x is equal to 4 centimeters? Okay. So, tung tatlong given na to, sila yung mga dimensions ng box. So, length, tsaka width, tsaka ng height. So, ang gagawin natin is, I-evaluate muna natin yung algebraic expressions to mga to, yung mga sides, by substituting the value of x which is 4. So, eto, meron tayong 2x minus 3. And then, yung pangalawa ay x plus 5. And then, yung pangatlo naman ay 3x plus 1. So, i-substitute natin or i-plug in natin yung value ng x, which is 4. So, we have here 2. And then, x, which is 4, minus 3. So, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3. That will give us 5. Therefore, yung first side natin ay 5. Yung second, x plus 5. Plug in the value of x, which is 4. So, 4 plus 5. That will give us 9. Ayan, yung pangalawang side is 9. Then, yung pangatlo, 3 times x. x is again 4 plus 1. So, 3 times 4 ay 12 plus 1. That will give us 13. So, at yung first side, yung second, at saka yung third. Now, paano ba kinukuha yung volume ng box? So, box is rectangular prism formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So, i-plug in natin. Hindi natin alam kung length with height dito. Pero silang tatlo lang yun. So, volume is equal to, pag sunod, -sunod ko na lang, that's 5 times 9 times 13. So, we have volume is equal to, so 5 times 9 is 45 times 13. That is equal to 585. Final answer? Hindi pa. Kasi may unit na given which is centimeters. So, ilan yung minultiply natin? Tatlo. So, therefore, this is cubic centimeters. So, ang answer natin sa number 1 ay volume is equal to 585 cubic centimeters. Okay? Ganun lang siya kasimple. Let's move on with number 2. So, number 2, ang given natin ay the formula for the area of a triangle is A is equal to BH over 2 or area is equal to base times height divided by 2. So, if the base or B is equal to 12 centimeters and the height H is equal to 8 centimeters, what is the area of the triangle? So, para lang siya yung elementary math na ginagawa nyo kapag nagsasolve ng area ng triangle. Just plug in the values of the base and the height, and then solve na natin. So, ganun na siya kasimple. So, area, sulat muna natin yung formula, is equal to base times height divided by 2. So, plugging in the values, ang bin natin ay 12 times h, which is 8, divided by 2. So, multiply muna natin. 12 times 8 ay 16, carry 1, 96. Divided by 2. So, therefore, area is equal to, so, 96. Bear with me. Medyo maingay yung background. Yung anak ko kasi. So, 96 divided by 2 is 48. So, anong unit natin? Centimeters. So, ilang numbers na multiply? Dalawa. So, therefore, exponent ito ay 2. So, number 2, the answer is a or area is equal to 48 square centimeters. Okay? Ganun lang. Dala, di ba? Next, number 3. Okay, number 3. The length of a rectangle is x squared plus 3x minus 4 
and the width w is 6x plus 3. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? So kapag sinabing perimeter, so meron tayo dito rectangle. Ayan. So kapag sinabing perimeter, by definition, yun yung distance around the figure. So distance around the rectangle. So ang given natin, ang length daw ay, this one is x squared plus 3x plus 4. And yung width, ito ay 6x plus 3. So, since rectangle siya, that means yung opposite sides, pareho sila ng measurement. So, kung ito yung taas, therefore, yun din ang measurement ng baba. So, that's x squared plus 3x plus 4. And then, ito yung right side, yun din yung measurement ng left side. 6x plus 3. Okay? So, perimeter, i-add lang silang lahat. Okay? So, formula ng perimeter is, we have there, um, we have here, length plus length plus width plus width. Okay? So, ina-add lang yung dalawang length, ina-add yung dalawang width. Though, merong ibang formula ng perimeter, which is, perimeter is equal to 2L, which means 2, which means 2 times length plus 2 times width. Since ang topic natin ay addition and subtraction of polynomials, eto na lang muna yung gagamitin ko. Okay? So, length plus length. Ang length natin ay x squared plus 3x plus 4 plus, multiply sa sarili, x squared plus 3x plus 4. And then yung width plus, ang width natin ay 6x plus 3. And then isa pa uling, 6x plus 3. So, isusolve ko siya separately para makita natin yung um, sum ng dalawang length and then sum ng dalawang width and then pagsasamahin na lang natin. Since my space is not enough, burahin ko muna to para meron akong pagsosolvan. Yan. So, yung dalawang length muna natin which is x squared plus 3x minus 4 i-add sa sarili x squared plus 3x minus 4 So, we have here x squared plus x squared. So, sa pag-add, ang ina-add lang natin ay ang similar terms, which means pareho ng variable na pareho yung exponent. So, ang ina-add doon ay ang kanyang numerical coefficient, which means yung number na kasama niya. Since wala tayong nakikita number dito, that means may invisible na 1 doon. Sa algebra kasi, hindi na siya sinusulat. It is understood na may 1 na kasama yung kahit na anong variable or letter. So, again, sa pag-add at sa pag-subtract, ang kinocombine ay ang numerical coefficients. Yung numbers na kasama, and then kinocopy lang yung, yung literal coefficient. So, 1 plus 1 ay 2, and then kukopyahin lang si x squared. Plus, 3 plus 3 ay 6, then kukopyahin lang si x. Negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. So, therefore, yung dalawang length natin ay 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 and then yung dalawang width natin na 6x plus 3 plus 6x so this is addition plus 3 so katulad na kanina i-add lang yung numerical coefficients 6 plus 6 ay 12 then copy x then 3 plus 3 is positive 6 so plus 12x plus 6 there Okay? And then, combine natin silang dalawa. Again, I don't have enough space. Ah, meron siguro. So, eto yung kanina, yung first, eto yung second. Pagsasamahin lang. So, 12x, itatapat ko lang siya sa tapat na may x. And then, si 6, itatapat ko lang siya dun sa walang x. Yan. So, adding this two, walang katapat si 2x squared. So, kopyahin ko lang siya. Oh my God. Baby, be quiet please. And then, Second, yung my x. I-add yung numbers. 6 plus 12 by 18. And then bring down x. Negative 8 plus 6. Addition of integers. Makaiba ng sign is so subtract. 8 minus 6 ay 2. And then kopyahin yung sign ng mas malaki. Mas malaki si 8. Negative siya. So negative 2 to. So therefore, ayan na siya. The perimeter of the rectangle is 2x squared plus 18x. 
minus 2. May unit ba? No, walang unit. So, eto na yung ating final answer. Okay? So, ganun na kasimple. Next, number 4. So, number 4. From the sum of 5x cubed plus 8x squared minus 6 and 3x squared plus 4x plus 4, take away 6x squared plus 2x minus 6. So, dalawa yung operation na involved dito sa ating word problem. First is yung pagkuha ng sum. So, kapag sinabing sum, ina-add. So, ano na i-add natin? Itong dalawa na to. So, pagkatapos natin silang i-add, yung magiging sagot daw niya, take away, which means isusubtract, itong given na to. Okay? So, dun muna tayo sa sum. We have 5x cubed plus 8x squared Tapos wala siyang x, ba? So therefore, maglilive ako ng space Kasi yung kabila, yung second na given may x So, minus 6 Plus Yung second na polynomial natin 3x squared Saan ko siya isusulat? Sa tapat na, may x squared din Again, makokombine lang natin Yung similar terms Which means pareho ng variable na pareho ng exponent plus 4x plus 4. Ayan. So, i-add natin to. Since walang katapat si 5x cubed, so, i-bring down lang natin siya, 5x cubed. And then, 8 plus 3 ay 11x squared. And then, si 4x, wala din siyang katapat, so, just bring it down. Kapag addition, walang problema, baba-baba lang. And then, negative 6 plus 4, magkaiba ng sign. Root in adding integers. is subtract pag magkaiba ng sign. So, 6 minus 4 ay 2. And then, kopyahin yung sign na mas malaki. Mas malaki si 6, negative siya. So, this is negative 2. So, eto na yung sum. So, from the sum, mula daw dito, take away. Which means, i-minus. Sino? Si 6x squared plus 2x minus 6. So, sulat natin siya vertically. Tapat-tapat lang, yung magkakapareho, yung similar terms. Yung x squared, tapat ni 11x squared. So, 6x squared. And then, 2x plus 2x. And then, minus 6. There. So, rules in subtracting uh, polynomials. Same ng pagsusubtract ng uh, integers. Keep, which means... Kokopyahin lang yung una. And then change. It's a change yung operation from minus. This will become plus. Ay, ano ba yan? And then change. Which means lahat ng signs ng second the polynomial ay iibahin. Positive magiging negative. Positive magiging negative. Negative magiging positive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add following the rules in adding integers. Pag pareho ng sign, add Kopyahin yung common sign. Pag magkaiba, subtract. Then, kopyahin yung sign ng mas malaki. So, 5x cubed, wala naman siya katapat. Nasa taas siya. So, therefore, just bring it down. 5x cubed. And then, 11 plus negative 6. Magkaiba ng sign. So, subtract 11 minus 6 ay 5. Mas malaki si 11. Positive siya. So, plus ito. Positive din. Then, kopyahin si x squared. Next, 4 plus negative 2. Magkaiba ng sign is subtract. 4 minus 2 ay 2. Mas malaki si 4. Positive siya. So, positive din to. Then, kopyahin si x. Then, negative 2 plus positive 6. Magkaiba ng sign. Subtract. 6 minus 2 ay 4. Si 6 ay positive. Therefore, si 4 ay positive din. So, therefore, so therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? So, disclaimer lang, uh, tong last number na to, this is not the given. Okay? Medyo na mali ako na kopya, kaya iyan yung na-compute ko, na-solve ko. But then, kung ano man yung number dito sa module nyo, just do the same. Okay? So, itatapat lang siya sa negative 6, i-add, pag same sign, add, magkaiba, subtract, and then, just do exactly like this, hindi kayo maliligaw, okay? 
Next, number five. So last number. What should be added to 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8 to have a sum of 3x cubed plus x squared plus 7? Ano daw? Ano daw yung sabihin? So ano daw yung dapat i-add dito para ito yung maging sum? So kung gagamit ako ng, ng, ng friendly numbers, so ano daw yung i-add ko halimbawa sa 3, ano i-add ko sa kanya para ang maging sagot halimbawa ay 5? So, ito ang hinahanap natin. So, dito sa simple numbers na to, paano ko mahahanap yung number na to, yung missing? Isusubtract natin si 5 tsaka si 3. So, 5 minus 3, that will give us 2. So, therefore, yung sagot dito ay 2. So, kung paano natin sinob to, ganun natin gagawin yung nasa given. Okay? So, yung sum, which is 3x cubed plus x squared plus 7, Ima minus natin doon yung, yung isang addend. So, we have here 3x cubed plus x squared plus 7. Ima minus C 4x cubed. Pagtapat-tapat yung similar terms, which means yung parehong letter na may parehong exponent. Plus 5x squared minus 8. Yan. So, paano ulit mag-subtract ng polynomials? So, keep, change, change. So, yung first natin ay hindi natin iibahin. Keep lang natin lahat siya. Yung operation, yung minus magiging plus. And then, lahat ng signs ng bawat term ay iibahin natin. Positive magiging negative. Positive magiging negative. Negative magiging positive. And then we will add following the rules in adding integers. Paano ulit? Kapag naging pareho sila ng sign, positive, positive, or negative, negative, i-add yung numbers, copy the common sign. Pag naging magkaiba, isusubtract yung numbers, and then kukopihin yung sign ng mas malaki. Okay? So simulan na natin. 3 plus negative 4, magkaiba ng sign, subtract. 4 minus 3 ay 1. Mas malaki si 4. Negative siya. So, negative 1 yon. And then, ano yung kanyang literal coefficient? X cubed. Again, in algebra, hindi na sinusulat si 1. Invisible siya. Understood na may 1 doon. Okay? So, this is just negative X cubed. Itatabi ko lang negative sign para sila magkaaway. Ayan. Next, x squared plus negative 5x squared. Again, ang i-combine natin, yung numerical coefficient. Wala tayong nakikita ang number dito. That means, merong 1 na invisible yon. So, 1 plus negative 5, magkaiba. Isang positive, isang negative. Subtract. 5 minus 1 is 4. And then, mas malaki si 5, negative siya. So, negative to. Ano yung kanyang literal coefficient? We have x squared. And then, 7 positive plus positive 8, both positives. So, i-add natin. 7 plus 8 ay 15. Kopyahin yung common sign na positive. Yan. So, therefore, ang answer natin sa so number 5 ay negative x cubed minus 4x squared plus 15. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay? So, kung nakatulong ang aking video sa inyong lesson, sa inyong module, kindly give me a like para share to ni YouTube sa iba. And again, if you are not yet a member of my community, I'm inviting you to please subscribe kay Teacher A, Gurong Pinay sa America, and also pakilike na rin ang aking FB page. Same name, Gurong Pinay sa America by Teacher A. And pwede niyo akong i-PM about sa mga modules, sa mga lessons niyo na gusto niyong gawan natin ng tutorial video. Okay? That's it! So, see you in my next video. Paalam!